everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts and today this is all part of the project we're going to be doing and this is going to be um, another wall hanging project but a little bit different than what I have been doing. So um, as you will see I'm going to be using a couple of pieces of my favorite napkin. Um, what I need to do is I do need to figure out if I'm going to use one or both of these. I, I think I'm going to use both but I'm not positive. Before we go ahead and do that I am going to read my inspirational quote for the day. And you guys, I'm not going to stop reading my quotes. Um, that is part of who I am. And I hope you guys, uh, I know the majority, of you, the majority of you actually enjoy these quotes. And they bring something to me as much as they do to those of you that I'm reading them to. So um, I know people have been concerned and writing me, asking me, Please not to take them out of my videos, and I am not going to take them out of my videos, you guys. That's not going to be a problem. What I am going to do, though, is I am going to make a concerted effort not to talk so long in the beginnings of my videos. I can talk to you guys as I go. And, and that particular comment um, is probably correct. I, I do get going and rambling and I forget about time. So today I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to read you my quote, and we'll talk during the video. So this one uh, is a really good one. I thought it was pretty cool myself. Um, and, you know, it kind of goes along with kind of how I'm feeling today. So... Uh, make up your mind that no matter what comes your way, no matter how difficult, no matter how unfair, you will do more than simply survive. You will thrive in spite of it. And that's a pretty powerful quote, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let you guys ponder that for just a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, get busy here. Um, oh, I want to show you real quick. These are some butterflies I just did before I started my video here. Aren't they pretty? These are just some images of some plain butterflies. I printed them on some uh, ivory colored paper. So that's why they are the color they are. Otherwise they would be pure white. And I do like these butterflies white as well, but I wanted to do some ivory ones. So I used some ivory cardstock. And then I used some of my pretty um, uh, nail uh, stickers on these to just pretty them up just a little bit more. Aren't they gorgeous, you guys? I might use one on this project. I might not because I have another butterfly here that I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to use on this. And of course, we are going to use my family sign that I made in my other video. Um, and I've got butterflies on this. So you can see I've got my clear butterflies that look like glass on this and this is gorgeous. Um, I don't know if you guys can see really how pretty this is um, outside of the video but what I'm thinking, I have an idea, I think I'm going to add some glass glitter to this. Um, so we will be doing that. In fact maybe we'll go ahead, that's where we'll start, is we'll start on this. We'll add our glass glitter and that way I can pop it under the lamp because I am going to use some resin um, and then that way this can get to curing while we are doing the rest of the video. So I'm going to take some of my hard glue UV resin and again this is the, the resin that I get on Timu. I have a couple bottles of this and then I'll be moving on to my Let's Resin that um, Sherry sent me a whole big like 1500 grams of Let's Resin and you guys know I love the, re the Let's Resin as well. I get that on Amazon and um, I really enjoy it. I like the way it goes on and I like the consistency of it. It's a little bit thicker than some of the other resins and for that reason it works better for certain projects. Now this is thinner and so is the J. Diction resin, and I enjoy that as well. It's a thinner resin, um, just like this. 
and so I do enjoy that um, as well when I need a thin resin and um, the thinner resins to me seem to um, create fewer bubbles so the J Diction is really great um, for that and as is this uh, hard glue resin and um, so I do like I said I do enjoy both um, on my projects and this is nice I can put just a little thin layer of this on here and I'm just brushing it on and then I will take and clean my brush with alcohol I have a little container that I keep alcohol in um, and it's got a, a lid that I can sort of partially open so I pop my my brushes there and just let them soak overnight and then the next day I take hot water and Dawn uh, dish detergent and I clean them off and they come out completely usable again and I'm not ruining my um, my brushes and I can leave this brush just sit here for a little bit until I'm done with the video that's not going to cause a problem um, it's still going to come clean and here is my uh, Floracraft diamond dust I'm going to use this um, for uh, my glitter so I'm just gonna what I'm doing here is I'm just gonna put my jar here and I'm going to gently tap my glass glitter on here and this uh, resin now I haven't been using it that long but it does say that it is anti-yellowing so I'm hoping that that is true I don't like to use resins that get yellow. Um, I don't use triple thick anymore for that reason because it turns very, very yellow. Um, and I found that I, you know, projects that I had done, you know, a, some time ago, if they have a white background, now if it has a darker background, uh, like a more vintage looking background, it's not so bad. But for anything that has a white background, I don't find it to be a good product to use. So I did quit using it. And it used to be all I used uh, until I started playing around with resin and realizing that the resin, as long as I'm using the UV resin, um, holds things on really well, holds in my glitters, and they sit very well on my projects and right now I'm just tapping this to get the um, glass glitter to not be hanging over the edges here and not sticking up on the top so I'm just tapping it down and then running my finger along the edges here to make sure it's not sticking out so that's what I'm doing here and then I'm just going to pop it under my UV lamp and I will put it under for 120 seconds and it will be ready to go and you can see how nice and let's see if you can see the sparkle on that see the sparkles I get in that just from that glass glitter and then I've also got my uh, um, what do you call it ah, my stickles that I used on the letters to um, make those stand out a little bit better. So, okay, so that's under there. We can put, put this away and we can start on our flowers. So here's what we're gonna be doing. This friend's sign, let's see, we're gonna, I was thinking I would put the flowers and I spray painted this is just a white piece of plywood that I stole from my husband's garage um, a little while back and I'm gonna put this I'm thinking if I'm using two I'm gonna put these like that and then this is gonna go in the center of those now the other thing that I can do is I can take and just put one of these on here and I could 
get rid of that edge of it and just put the friends sign sort of off to the right so that we get more of the flowering. But I'm kind of feeling like it's very blank with just that one. I, what I could do is do the same thing on this one, kind of fold it over on that edge. I was trying to keep the word love on there. Um, but maybe we don't need that. And maybe if we do this and just have those on each side, that looks very pretty like that. Or again, we can leave love in there, or maybe just put love on one side and have the other side hang over. And I could even take this word love and I could put it somewhere else, but I kind of like it where it's at there. And sorry you guys, I have a band-aid on my finger. I um, cut myself with a razor blade. I was scraping something earlier and I had my hand holding it and I went like this and got my finger and it bled like crazy. <laughs> so yeah, your fingers definitely bleed more than other areas or faster than other areas for sure. So I'm thinking that looks very pretty. Uh, but then again, if I leave it like this, I've got the love on either side and we've got those flowers in the background and it really does look very pretty. Uh, another way we could go about this would be to sort of put the flowers up a little bit higher and kind of turn them like that and then put the friends sign sort of down here because we are going to be also putting something around the edges of this. I don't want to lose that love thing here, so definitely want to make sure I get that in there. And I am going to go grab some cellophane really quickly. And I think that looks quite pretty, just like that. So I'll be right back. I'm going to get that cellophane. All right, so, oh, I, and I thought of something else while I was away for a moment. I could take this, and I think this might be even the best idea yet. Um, maybe take this one here, and this one without the love there. Just kind of like that and do it like that. That looks really pretty. That puts the flowers up in each corner and I really really like that. So I think that's what we're going to do you guys. We're going to do it just like that. I think I'm going to cut off these little stems down here. We don't really need the stems. Take those off. And while I know the flowers are going sideways, and that's not really the way they're intended to go, I still think it looks good going sideways. Could take it like that. And like that. How's that look? Yes! We did it. I am going to take the love off of there. And I'm going to save those just in case. And this way the flowers are sort of going in their upward direction, like that. And I think that looks very pretty. So let's, let's do that. It may not be perfect. It may look awesome. So we're just going to go for it, you guys. I did get a little piece of something on there. <laughs> okay. 
And I'm just putting a uh, not too thick a coat of Mod Podge because I don't like to get too much of it on there. I like enough that, of course, it's going to hold everything down. But, you know, it doesn't take a lot to um, get a napkin to stick. So, we're going to go just like that. And I'm going to go ahead I'm just going to go ahead and let this go over the edge here and I'm going to brush it down. Okay, let me get my my cellophane. And we're just going to use this edge of it here. And we're just going to push it in an outward direction, just like this, to get all of the wrinkles out that might be in there. And very carefully, we're just going to peel it off just like this. And look at that. It looks gorgeous. Okay, and now let's do this other one. And this brush is a little bit big to put in this Mod Podge lid, but that's okay. We make it work, right? Okay, and then we are going to go like that. Just like that. And we'll put a little bit over this edge and brush that flower down. And get our cellophane again. We'll grab the other edge here. And try not to let it sit down on this other one because it's already starting to dry and it's going to become a little bit more sticky. Just pulling this, getting any wrinkles out of it. And hopefully this one will turn out as pretty as the other one did. Just like that. Look at that, you guys. Perfect. And right here, I'm just going to take my fingernail, and if there's any little corners or edges that are sticking up or rough, I'm pulling them off and I only had one little piece right here that was like that so I got lucky this time this was a good good mod podging round so that's how that looks and now we've got to get this dry before we can do anything else be right back okay I almost used this one instead of the family one I was looking at it and playing around with it and then I realized wait a minute there's something wrong here okay so here's our family little uh, plaque here and that's what's going to go on here. I was looking at it and kind of thinking okay what if I did it sort of um, cockeyed but I don't want to do that. I want it to go straight across in the center and that's where I want that to be and I think it's going to look absolutely gorgeous just like that. Beautiful. Um, okay so I also have these little love bits and those would actually be pretty on there maybe coming out like right there and right there oops they 
they really do look pretty. Uh, for right now, I'm going to leave those off, and I'm going to um, go ahead and I'm going to start decorating around the edge of this. Um, and this is what I'm going to use to go around it, this beautiful, beautiful lace. Isn't that gorgeous? Got to find the front and the back. Let's see. This is the front. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and glue it right along the edge, just like that. So, first things first, though. One thing I am noticing is I'm looking at this and you know since we Mod Podged this on there's places where there is no Mod Podge on here and I usually don't bother with adding more over the front but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to Mod Podge the entire front of this and get it dry and I will be right back okay everybody so I went ahead and I Mod Podged over the entire top of this so you can see it all kind of matches and has that same sheen to it um, I just I wanted to make sure I did this completely right uh, start to finish so the other thing that I'm considering though now now that I did that is I'm thinking about putting a thin layer of uh, resin and sprinkling over these flowers with the diamond dust I really think that will make it pop and give it that extra um, shine and also I don't know if you guys can see it but when you this is the reason I don't usually uh, paint the Mod Podge all over everything because then you get brush strokes and I think you can see them a little bit in the light here where there you can just see those brush strokes it drives me insane um, I don't like brush strokes in my in anything that is painted so it really really bothers me so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to put a thin layer of resin over the top of this. I'm just going to take a brush. I'm going to I'm going to sort of I think we're just going to go ahead and sort of pour a pool of this out. I don't want to spend all day on this trying to get it poured and all over everything but this is the best way I can think of to do this and I hope you know I know it can feel a little bit like being wasteful but I'm gonna tell you what it's not wasteful because when you do something right um, it, it's always gonna look better and this is gonna take every single brush stroke out of this there won't be any more brush strokes. You can see them as I'm as I'm painting over this, but they disappear almost immediately. So I'm just going to bring it right up to the edges here, just like this very gently with my brush. I'm not going to take it over the edges because I don't want it to overflow and go down the sides. So I'm going to try and prevent that from happening as I go along here and if I see anything that looks like it might start going over I'll just go back over it with my brush and brush it towards the inside like right there I got a little bit because I got a little bit sloppy and that is my fault but I'm going to try and be a little more careful here and then at the end I will take my my little towel that I have here and I will brush the edges of this and that way we can get any drips that might be there off because we're gonna put that lamp on here almost right away I'm gonna sort of um, do kinda what you do with the cake I'm gonna kinda burp it <laughs> and try and get some of the bubbles off and then I will use my little torch and um, try and get any extra bubbles that might be in there out 
off the top. But I'm just going to take my little towel here and go along the edges, get that out of the way. Just like that. And I can see I have a little spot right there where I didn't get it all the way over. So any spots that you see, get them now. If you see a spot that's not covered, get it covered. Pull it together. And I'm going to get this last side here because there may be some drips over here. like that. It's nice and shiny. Very, very nice and shiny. And I can see bubbles on there, so I'm going to grab my torch and I'm going to very gently kind of go over this and pop all of those bubbles. And the other way I can do this is by spraying a little bit of alcohol over the top of it, um, which does thin it out quite a bit, and I don't want to thin it too much and have it running over the edges. So I'm hoping with just the, the torch, I can get these little bubbles out, and will be good. It's very, very smooth on top. It looks really, really good. Oh, let me grab a toothpick. There's a couple of little spots that I can see that I'm just going to use my toothpick and kind of tap them. And what I need to do is take my brush here and move some of this resin that's sort of in the center over to this edge because this edge feels like it got slighted a little bit. And that's probably because it's leaning more the other direction. Okay. It's already looking better. Okay. So now I'm going to take my lamp very, very, very carefully. I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to hit it for 120 seconds. And then I may hit it again just to make sure that I get all of this cured. And I will be right back. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush and I am going to take a little bit more resin here. I'm just going to put some on my brush like this and gently sort of brush over these flowers here. And then I'm going to sprinkle my diamond dust because remember we want these flowers to sparkle. I'm just putting this sort of over the leaves and the flowers, just like this. Get enough so that the, the diamond dust is going to stick, but not so much that it's like real thick and bubbly. And now we'll get to the other side. And you're not too worried about, you know, any little brush strokes or anything that you might leave in it because you're putting such a thin layer because um, the diamond dust is going to cover that up. So you don't have to worry about that. You're going to have that nice sparkle that gives it um, depth as well. And it's going to cover up any imperfections that might be left behind from the brush. So you don't need to worry about that when you're doing this process. I've done it a million times. And so I finally learned that I didn't need to be quite so worried about 
perfection when I was painting the the small amount of resin on this to accommodate the diamond dust. And I'm just making sure I'm getting it all over those flowers. And this is going to bring such a beautiful sparkle to the whole thing. You guys have seen a lot of my tags that I do. Um, and I do this same process when I do it on my tags. And that's why I can say I've done this a lot of times, so I, I'm pretty confident that everything's going to come out just fine on this. It's a little different uh, medium that I'm working with, but same, same process. Okay, plenty of diamond dust on there. And we're going to put the lamp back on. See you in a minute. Okay, so we've got a nice shiny surface. We've got this resin over the top and we've got our glass glitter over those flowers. Look at how beautiful they look. I don't know if this helps. There we go. Now you can see the glass glitter a little bit better. I changed the lighting in my lamp. I love this lamp because based on different lighting, you can see different elements um, better depending on how you set the light. And this is on a warm glow. Let me see if I go there. And you can see it a little bit better there too. But when I have it on sort of the blue light like that, it, it the glitter just doesn't seem to show in the same fashion. Anyway, so that's all set and ready to go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do the edges of this. And let's see if we can find them. Let's see, we're going to go here because this is the top of our lace. The first thing I need to do though is I need to cut off that little piece. And we're just going to go along with our glue gun and very carefully just on the very edge and I'm running out of glue in my glue gun whoops and I dropped it and I'm gonna I'm doing this very gently and precisely because I want this to sit just right on the edge of this um, piece of wood and again I think I told you guys this is just a piece of plywood from my husband's garage that he let me have and I just painted it white and went with it I did um, my other piece that I did the other day I used the same plywood and it came out absolutely gorgeous so I thought, well, I had another piece that I had taken from him. So I thought I might as well go ahead and do something with that too. <laughs> and one of my um, one of my subscribers gave me the idea of putting um, hooks. You know, she was saying how it would be nice to put hooks on the edge of the last one that I did. And I thought, wow, that was a great idea, like for for keys or um, something like that. And that was a really great idea. And then when I was thinking about this one, I thought, what a great idea it would be to add some of my tiny, tiny um, clothespins and since it's a family plaque, those clothespins can hold pictures. And I thought, what a great idea, right? And you guys, I just want to let you know, my nails are not completely just filthy dirty. I am crafting my little head off today because it's my only day off for a while. So I'm trying to get as much done as I can. And I see I've got ink and everything else on my on my fingers 
So they're kind of a mess. And I apologize. If there's anything I cannot stand, it's watching videos and then seeing that someone has these god-awful, dirty, filthy fingernails. Ugh. <laughs> it's not... It's not pleasing to the eyes. A lot of times it's just mostly like the woodworking videos that my husband watches. And the guys that have, you know, sort of grease under their fingernails and stuff. I mean, they can't help it. It's probably from their jobs, what they do for a living. Maybe they're mechanics or what have you. And that's just something that's very hard to get rid of is grease under your fingernails. So I get it. And I know they're not trying to be gross or anything, but <laughs> it just doesn't look nice. And for a woman, it's even worse. Right? So I do apologize. I know mine are not looking the prettiest right now. And I do apologize. And then to top it all off, I've got a Band-Aid on my index finger here. Okay, we're almost done getting this on here. And I think I'm going to cut this a little bit to go around the corner just a little bit so that I can give it the same corner that these other corners have. I don't want it to be different than the other corners. So we're just going to go right there. Just like that. And we have a little piece hanging over. And we will do the same thing as the other corners and we'll just kind of twist it around that corner and glue it down and it will look the same. pulling just a tad so I'm gonna try and there we go okay so that's that and look at how beautiful that trim looks on this it's just gorgeous and I recently got that in happy mail as well and I love it and then what I was thinking I would do is put this right across sort of the, the inside here. Just going around like that. Now, part of me is saying, wow, that's kind of a bright pink. Um, the other thing that I have, which I always like, I've got two things here. And I, I actually put several things over here just in case um, I thought I was going to use that pink lace, but a big part of me, this is always pretty with this napkin. That looks really gorgeous if I use this. Or I could take and just keep it white and use this pearl strand like that and just make it all white around the edges. Um, but I think, I think I want to go ahead, I'm going to use this because I always like the way this turns out. It'll be pretty and it'll be a little easier to put on than the pearls are. And we're going to just start right here and put it right across that lace right there. 
and just tap it down. There we go. And this trim here I got from Debbie over at Bird's Place. She always has this trim. So if you want to get some of this kind of trim, that's where you need to go. And Debbie's prices are super reasonable, you guys. So you can't, um, you can't do bad when you go over there and order from Debbie. She only does a sale once a month, so you have to be patient. Um, but it's well worth the wait to get in on her sales. And what you do when you join is you, um, you get her to sign you up. You know, you got to answer some questions. Make sure you have um, your um, things in order that she needs. And then she will approve you and get you set up. She takes PayPal. Um, so that's the way you pay and she's a sweetheart of a lady she's a very dear friend of mine and you guys will adore her so I suggest that you go over and you check out her Facebook site which is called Birds Place and have a look see what she's got because she's got a lot of really really cool stuff you guys now trying to decide if I might want to put these butterflies are a little too yellow though don't you think I do have this one here that I intend to use but I think I'm going to use it up in that corner and then this is one of my um my pendants that I made the other day let me and it says love on it just like the the love on the napkin that I took off and I thought maybe I'd put this sort of in the center and then I've got my little tiny um, clothes pins but you know what hmm I don't know if I want to use these or not. Now, number one, I guess these will hold pictures pretty decently. Um, but I don't know if they'll sit on here very well. However, I do have... Uh, let's see. Well, let's get this out. I've got my, um, and I have a whole bag of colored ones of, of my little pins, these pins. But these hooked on there, and you could hook the picture on with the pin and just hang it there. These would be kind of cool. Or I've got some white pins. Um, I, I don't have, I think with the colored ones that I have though, I think I got all colors except white. I don't think I got any white ones in that package. Uh, but I do have silver. I have a whole bunch of silver ones that I've had for a long time. And if I do three on each side, that's what I thought I would do is three on each side. Four, five, and six. Yeah, because I've only got, let's see, I've only got a couple of the white little tiny safety pins. Yeah, I, that's all I've got, and I've only got one of these that's white. But if I take these and use these, sort of pinning them onto this trim like this, I 
And you can just pin your pictures on and leave them hang from there. I think that's an awesome, awesome idea. But what I do need to do is on this, I need to cut off the, the loop at the top. And we're going to figure out where we're going to place this. I think that's right about the middle, right there. So I'm going to put a nice big dollop of glue there and set that on there. And I will be using another form of reinforcement on this as well to make sure that it stays. But for right now, we're just going to use that, that glue. We're going to pop these pins on. There's one, two, That one kind of stuck a little bit. I don't like the way that one's sitting, but we'll figure we'll get it worked out. I think it's the way I pinned it in. Yeah, it is. Because I think this one's going to do just fine like the first one. Yep. So it's just the way I pinned this one. I was kind of thinking that when I was pinning it, it was going to get stuck. We just need to put it on that outside loop. And so how cute would this be for pictures of your grandkids or little notes that you want to put on it or what have you. I think it's such a cute idea. And I liked the idea of key hooks and I have made something with key hooks before. Um, a little while back I made a little key holder and it was super cute. In fact, I think it's still in my shop. But the thing that the thing about that one was, it is my belief that the colors that I chose, they were fall colors. Nobody bought it because nobody buys the fall colored stuff. I have had so much trouble. Anything that I have made in fall colors does not sell. And as soon as I make the same thing in other colors, i.e. pink, purple, any other color other than a fall color, it sells immediately. So I don't know, I think it's kind of weird, but because really the stuff that I made was gorgeous. I was just looking at a, a pencil box that I had made the other day, and it's so, so pretty, and nobody has bought it, and it's been in my store for gosh forever and I just spilled resin all over my table here that has been sitting there since yesterday let me get this stuff out of it hold on just a minute you guys okay let's finish this up I know there's a bunch of flowers on top of the table now but I figured I might as well grab those while I had the camera off okay so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna finish embellishing this and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with, uh, let's see, like that in the corner. And I should kind of match it up and do the same thing on this side. And that looks very, very pretty. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? And we've got our little pins here for our pictures. And then I'm going to put one of these in each of those corners there. Just one little tiny flower. I think that looks pretty. Or, you know what else I could do? I have a little, a couple of little angels. I don't want that one. This is a cute one. Not too big, but it's a little angel just kind of looking up. But I have another one. I thought I had it here. Yes. And this one is super cute. It's sitting down. 
So I could put that one right there in that corner. That looks really, really cute. Let's see. You gotta set it the right way here. Like that. I think that looks really, really cute in the corner there. Or maybe uh, that and a flower. Just kind of put a flower next to her. So she's got something sitting next to her. And I've got one of these flowers. Kind of like that. Maybe that's too much. I think it looks good with just that one flower there. I do want to sand the top of this just a little bit. It's got some pointy edges right there. Um, I'm going to pick this back up in a little bit. It is past dinner time and I need to figure out what I'm going to do here for dinner. So I'm going to come back to this later. We'll finish it up. Okay, so let's <clears throat> go ahead. It's the next day here, and let's go ahead and finish this up. I have another video I'd like to do um, with some little ornaments, and you guys should watch this one. I'm going to be using these little plaques, these little tiny plaques, to do some ornaments that I think you guys are going to absolutely love. So, I want to get to those, um, therefore I need to get this one done first. I'm not going to move on to the next one until this one is absolutely done. So, let's go ahead first and let's put our family sign on there. And I'm hoping that I can get this on before this other glue dries here. Just like that and let's get it centered like so and push it down and I think that's going to work out just fine I do want a little string of glue right there let's see let's try our little tweezers here and see if I can grab hold of it Oh, I got it. Yay! That's the only string that we got. <laughs> so, okay, so our little family sign is on there. And I, you'll see I did move it over this way just slightly because I'm going to be putting some flowers up in the corners on the, the left side of this. And I want to have plenty of space for the flowers. So, number one, number two, number three. So we're evening these flowers out off to each side. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to put this one aside here and go with these because these are matching flowers so these will be our next ones actually what I want to do is I want to put this one down first so I'm going to put that right about there and of course I can't get a hold of it because I'm babying my finger with the band-aid on it Okay, and that one's going to go right there, and this one will go right here, and there's going to be a couple of extra flowers going in this direction um, as well. I want to, I think I want to try and get that one, I'm not sure, that may go somewhere else. Um, okay. So next, I'm going to put this, nope, we're not going to do that one. Uh, let's see. Let's 
Nope. Okay, let me grab a couple of smaller flowers. I do want those. And a couple of my very small little uh, roses here. Okay. And then we're going to add this grouping of uh, rose buds. And then I'm going to do another grouping of rose buds here. Just like that. Just twisting them together. Like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that down. And I am going to put one of those right in there as well. And I can see this one started coming apart a little bit, so we're going to just put a little dab of glue on the inside of that rose as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and I should have put this down first. And there we go. That's how I want that one. Okay, and I want this grouping to go somewhere around here. But what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, this angel. Let's see, do we want her right there and her in this corner? I think that's the way I want it to go. And then I'm going to add a couple of flowers next to her right here. And maybe that's what I'll do with these rosebuds. Nope. No, I think I want, I really want the rosebuds to come out right here. Sort of just like that. And I'm just going to put my glue down right there. And, whoops, it's not that one. Where'd she go? And I think I'm going to put her right there in the corner with maybe just one little flower to her side, like that. So let's go ahead and fix her down to this and put this little flower right here and maybe one small rose next to that one, just like that. Okay, and then we are going to put our sitting angel right there on the family sign. I could put her over in this corner, but I think she kind of gets lost there, and I really want her to be visible. So she's going to go there. This would have been pretty kind of right there. But I'm not going to do that because I've already resined this whole thing. And so that would just ruin all of that beautiful work we did. So she's just going to sit right there. We've got our hooks for our, our pins for our photos. 
and I did want one more flower in this corner. So I wonder though if I should just kind of go like that. Yeah, you know what? We're going to put these flowers in this corner just to kind of offset everything that we've got going on at the top, but we're not going to overindulge this corner with too many flowers. So just like that. There we go. And let's see here. Where did I put that pink lace? Not that one. Here it is. I'm thinking maybe we could do a bow maybe down in this corner with our pink lace. Not a big thick lace or anything, but you know what? It would be pretty though to kind of mix it with some white. If I can find my white lace. Or maybe we'll just put some pearls in with that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Going to add some pearls to this. I do want a bit of a tail there, and again, we're going to go with three loops on our bow. This is two and three, and we'll just cut this about the same length as the other side. And then we're going to cut a piece off of it to tie around. Just like that, we're going to wrap around to the back. Let's move this. Wrap around to the back side. And this gives us another short tail. I like to have a couple of tails on my bows. So. There we go, and there we've got a beautiful little bow, and we'll fluff it up as we put it down, just like that. And let's determine exactly where we want it to go. I'm thinking I'd kind of like to pop it in between. No, that doesn't work for me. Maybe just down here. Yeah, I kind of like that. Just right down there in the corner. Or we could do it up here. We could put it up with this bunch of flowers. Actually, that looks really pretty up in that corner. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, and then I, what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit of these pearls. So I'm going to turn these into a little bit of a bow just like that and nip it and I think we will just use this pink lace again to tie around this bow but we're gonna we're gonna knot it and then we're gonna cut it right off to the edge if I can get this to work. I have to get a hold of both ends. It's a little harder to hold these pearls in place. <laughs> there we go. Just like that. Nice and tight. And we'll tie it in a knot. And nip it just like that. And now we've got these pretty pearls to go with this pretty lace. Um, I think I'm gonna do I want it to come behind or maybe just on top. I think we're gonna put it right on top like that. So I think what we need to do is just Pop that down first and then we'll glue this on top 
<clears throat> and see if we can find a little piece of bling to go on the very top of the bow. Okay, so there's that. Now we'll put a little glue there and pop in our pearls. And we'll be able to fluff this bow up and make it all nice and pretty. And I do want to put a piece of bling sort of right in the middle if I can find something nice. Uh, how about this? Well, it's a little big. Not red. I have this small little gold piece here. That would be pretty right there in the middle. Yeah, we're going to go with this. Press it down real good. Just like that. Sorry you guys, my stomach is making noises right now and the reason it's doing that is I just ate some Oreo cookies and when I eat, because many, many moons ago 15 years ago to be exact, I had um, gastric sleeve surgery. I don't know if you guys know that or not. I don't know if I've ever talked about it, but I did. I had gastric sleeve surgery because I was a bit overweight. And um, so now still when I eat, every time I eat, my stomach makes a lot of noise. <laughs> so. It's not a nice noise, it's a growling kind of a noise. I think my stomach gets mad at me every time I eat. And that is why I don't eat very much food at all. Um, people get mad at me because they say I don't eat enough, but I, I, if they could only understand what eating much food at one time does to me, they wouldn't pester me about it. I feel like we do sort of need one more flower in here. Maybe that and that. It just feels like there's an empty, a weird empty space there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this white one there and the little cherry blossom right there. There we go. That filled that in just nicely. Okay, so there we go. This is all done. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm not putting a hanger on this because I'm making this to go into um, a stand that Jeff made. Um, and I will show that to you in the pictures. I will take pictures of it and you'll see the stand. It's a white stand, wooden stand, and it's going to really look nice on this. But I won't be able to get a good visual of it here um, because... Well, let me give it a shot. Hold on. Okay, this is the stand that I have. And I have to keep this laying down, but I think I can do this. So, well, the only thing is I just realized that may not work unless we take the pins out and don't use it as a photo holder. That was kind of the whole premise of this. I've got glue on there. Okay. But if I put it in the stand, look at how beautiful that looks in the stand. So you know what, you guys, I think I'm going to make that one change in this. We're not going to make this a photo holder. 
We're going to go ahead and we're going to take these pins off just like that. And this is just going to go in the stand because the, actually both of those ideas were part of this whole thing and I didn't put two and two together to realize that it had to be one or the other. But um, I think the stand really, really looks beautiful with this. So that is the choice I'm going to go with here. Okay, so we've got our pins out of there. And again, this is going to go in just like that. And this will still dangle. Let's see if we can move you back just a tad. And that's what it's going to look like, you guys. Let me see. I don't have my stand exactly right here. Okay, just like that. So that's the stand. And the way that this stand works, it's nice for um, shipping, is it's two pieces, just like that. And you just easily pop them together like that, and that's our stand. Jeff had made a, a whole bunch of these last year or the year before. Anyway, I sold a whole bunch of them just the stands and also a few items that I made with the stands and they really went over big they're very sturdy and really nice for something like this so that's what that's gonna look like you guys so we're all done um, I want to say thank you to everybody for watching and um, joining me on this video I think it was an awesome one an awesome pro project and I got to use my most awesome napkin to do this one. I've got another string of glue going right through here. I have to find it with my tweezers. There we go. Got it. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Um, thanks again for watching and um, being a part of my little YouTube family and um, I will be coming back with another video of some really really great stuff so I hope you guys will join me for that one and um, just know I've got these little plaques and I'm going to be doing something with these so thanks a lot you guys take care God bless love your family love yourselves first take care of yourselves hug your family tell them you love them often give them hugs and kisses and be safe out there. Merry Christmas to everybody. God bless.